Okay, class. Let's look at properties of human language. Although communication is the primary function of human language, it is not a distinguishing feature. Why? Now you can look at these five figures in the cartoon. Are they different? Which one is very special? It's hard to tell, right? Let's see. Because other creature cannot reflect on the way they create their communicative messages. For example, a barking dog cannot say, "Hey, you should lower your bark to make it sound more menacing." To another barking dog, however, human being can make different kinds of sounds. If we talk about this kind of situation, people can use language to think and talk about language itself. We say we have reflexivity or reflexiveness. For example, I wish the dinosaur judge wouldn't use unreasonable technical terms. Then, in this sentence, we can see that you make a wish, and、uh, you talk about this kind of special situation. That's why we say reflexivity. Without this kind of ability. We wouldn't be able to reflect on or identify any other distinct properties of language, such as displacement. Now, what's displacement? Let's talk about animals as an example. When your cat comes home, calling meow. You understand this message as relating to the immediate time and the place, because animal communication seems to be designed exclusively for this moment here and now. It cannot be used to relate events that are far removed in time and the place. So. A dog can only say "girl" right now, but not "girl" last night over the park. Okay, let's talk about human beings. Humans can refer to past and future time. This kind of property of human language is called displacement. It can allow us to talk about things. Places and events not present in the immediate environment. For example, we can talk about angels, Santa Claus, and the heaven. For example, you say, "My grandpa has gone to heaven," or "Santa Claus gave me a wonderful present on Christmas Day." Now, what about? Bees. Bees' communication is a small exception, as it seems to have some version of displacement. For example, when a honey bee finds a source of nectar, it can perform a distance routine to communicate to other bees. There are three kinds of dances. The first one is run dance. It is done for nearby twenty meters. The second dance is called sickle dance. It is done for between twenty to eighty meters. The third one is called tail wagging dance. It is done for far away place. For example, more than eighty meters. Now here you can see three kind of dances in this picture. The three kinds of communication informed by the dance. 
is distance, direction, and the food quality. This means that they show different degree of intensity and the repetition. The bee's communication has displacement in an extremely limited form. It must be the most recent food source. It cannot be that delicious rose bush on the other side of town that we visited last weekend. Thanks for listening. Thank、you